Hi guys, I just wanted to put a quick video out to you today just to let you know that I'm still around. Uh, you may have noticed that the quantity of the videos has dropped slightly, uh, especially since uh, the start of this month, December. Uh, I hope everyone's had a really good Christmas and got all your FPV gear and quadcopters and everything. Um, now I'll give you a couple of reasons why you may uh, have not have seen uh, a lot of videos from me. Uh, obviously the Phantom 2 has come out. Uh, unfortunately I can't afford one of them at the moment. So I haven't been able to give a lot of tech support. Uh, a lot of people asking me lots of questions about it. And if I haven't actually got one I don't want to give you uh, support in case I get something wrong. Everyone can read the manual but you know it's always good to have... Uh, a quadcopter and work on it yourself and I can physically show you on camera what to do and stuff like that but I haven't got one so I've been lacking on the support for that which I do apologize but that will change I'll tell you a little bit more later uh, obviously everyone's also got the Phantom 2 uh, vision uh, again I haven't got one of these uh, DJI said they would send me one but um, doesn't look like that's happening now um, again it's the same reason I'd like to do a lot of videos on it and show you some how to's and things on there but uh, without one it's really hard to show you on video uh, what to do another reason for the lack of videos is the weather uh, it's been really windy here um, it's we get the odd day of uh, a little bit of wind but mostly it's uh, really really bad I've been waiting for this roof to, to blow off <laughs> um, you may have seen in one of my previous videos uh, in one of my normal flying spots that uh, it was super windy there and everywhere flooded um, and it was really really bad I would have liked to have got a quad up and you know shot the devastation from the air and that but um, in that kind of wind it was a good chance I would actually lose the quad as well it would have been good if I had a gimbal on but as you can see I've got my TBS here uh, with this uh, ghetto gimbal that I've, I've fitted uh, that'll be coming up in another video um, as you guys have seen in the previous video I did mention this I did have a couple of problems with it I had to send it off to get calibrated and it's come back and uh, yeah I just need to set that up now I have actually been making a couple of videos but for one reason or another I haven't put it out uh, the <coughs> pulse jet engine I tried to get this started obviously uh, I broke off the Venturi when I tried to do that last time um, so I went out and bought a air compressor and uh, managed to fire it up it fired for a, you know, a couple of seconds and it was actually quite scary and very loud and I didn't expect the uh, amount of noise to come out of this small thing so I won't be doing that again in the garden so I need to do this out in the field somewhere but to do that I need to get uh, you know 200, 240 volt uh, power supply up there so I need to get myself a power inverter so I can run it off my car and then power my um, compressor to actually start the thing so uh, this uh, what turns out to be a, you know started out to be a uh, cheap pulse jet is actually starting to add up now because I've got to buy a compressor to uh, obviously start it and now I need the power to run the compressor so yeah uh, that'll be uh, coming up hopefully uh, next month. I've done a couple of videos. Uh, I went out to uh, fly underground uh, in a multi-story car park which was uh, below a large supermarket but unfortunately all the Wi-Fi signals from that supermarket were really bad and uh, yeah that was a bit of a failure unfortunately uh, but you know I, I, as I say I'm going out there making videos it's just some just tend to be a failure uh, I actually went under there and flew under there because I thought well the weather's so bad that's the only place I can fly uh, but as I say wasn't very good didn't think it was worth putting out the footage wasn't great anyway um, I did do an episode of uh, we were making our own uh, rocket engines uh, sort of basically like solid rocket fuel uh, yeah, I've got a kilo of the stuff here uh, this needs to be mixed up to, to, to do it but again the way we've done it uh, I wasn't too happy with because if someone tried to copy us there was a chance that something would go wrong so I'll have to revisit this one in the future but um, yeah we did manage to do a couple of mixes and uh, have some ignitions and it was you know quite exciting and all that we was going to um, I was going to make my own uh, fuses and things and show you how to make them so I'm going to have to postpone that one for the, for the moment until I can get the proper equipment because I don't want people to do what i done and possibly hurt themselves. Uh, not that I hurt myself but again I just don't want someone to do that. Uh, I want to give a quick shout out to Martin Spencer who sent me some decals for my uh, cases to put the phantoms and things in. As you can see I've got a nice uh, phantom there and the DJI logo. So that's going to be really good to uh, stick on my case and make it look uh, like the more expensive ones. So a uh, big shout out to you Martin, thank you very much for that. I also want to give a big shout out to the guys at uavision.co.uk. They actually sent me this as my uh, Christmas gift. A nice large uh, 
landing and takeoff pad. As you can see, we've got the uh, uh, logo on there from my forum DJI guys, which was awesome of them to send this to me. Uh, I wasn't expecting it, so thank you very much, guys, at uh, uavision.co.uk. Uh, I'll be featuring this in uh, a future video. It's uh, really, really strong. You can actually buy these off their website, so I'll put a link in the description. Uh, you've got these eyelets on here, so you can really pin this down to the ground. Uh, and it's going to give you a defined space to uh, take off and land and everyone knows you know, uh, where you're going to be uh, bringing your quadcopter into land so they'll stay away from that also it, it just helps that little bit if you've got a low slung gimbal um, and you're taking off on the grass sometimes the grass uh, actually touches your gimbal and uh, you know, can affect it so this is actually quite a good idea so uh, thanks for that guys, I really really appreciate that. Now another reason you may have not seen a lot of videos from me this month is because I've been doing some quadcopter work up at quadcopters.co.uk in Preston. Uh, they've moved into their brand new unit now which is fantastic uh, and I will be bringing you a lot more videos from there. Um, I've already actually spoke to quite a few of the subscribers here on the telephone because uh, you've recognised my voice. So I've been answering the phones, doing the uh, sales, uh, building quadcopters and technical support and uh, I will be doing a lot of videos. Now this is really good, as I was saying earlier, um, with me not having a, a Phantom 2 or a Vision to uh, give you how to's and things, uh, now that I'm going to be up there doing work for them then obviously I'm going to get all the toys to play with so this is really good news for you guys and also myself so uh, yeah they've got a lot of good stuff up there so I'm going to do a whole lot of videos for you guys uh, I'll show you all around the shop and, and things like that it's still not finished yet they've actually moved in we got the build center ready you know everyone's uh, already doing all the the quadcopter builds and technical support and, and uh, repairs are already you know that's already going but we're just waiting for the stock room to be fully stocked and also the actual uh, shop slash showroom to uh, be finished because it's all bare at the minute but you'll be seeing that in a future video um, very very soon I'll be back in there in the new year so I'll start doing that they've actually got quite a lot of uh, cool equipment in there that I think you guys are going to like um, I've got my eye on the droidworks system that they've got in there with a flirt for you guys that don't know what the flare is, it's like what you see on the police helicopters where it picks up the heat signatures. Uh, so you can fly around and pick up the heat signatures of our people or, you know, uh, animals, cars, whatever you want whilst you're flying around. Uh, now they've got one of those systems there. I've had a little play around with it in the shop and it is fantastic. So um, I'm going to look forward to, so I'm looking forward to bringing you a video on that. I'd like to use it in a search and rescue situation. I really think it has a very, very good potential to uh, help a lot of people you know if you can chuck up a small drone up in the air and get uh, you know those pictures from uh, the FLIR camera that's going to pick anyone say if someone was out at sea you could pick them out easily their heat signature would stand out again if you have a lost person in the woods uh, you'd be able to pick them out uh, very easily too so I'm really looking forward to that uh, as you can see behind me, my F550, and now I haven't flew this a lot, uh, reason being because I'm slightly scared to fly it since my last F550 crashed. Uh, this was uh, built thanks to you guys and the guys on uh, the forums, etc. They all helped and chipped in, and I managed to get this uh, up and running again uh, with all brand new uh, parts. So, uh, yeah, I've actually got a Tarot gimbal on there at the minute, but uh, I'm not 100% happy with it. Uh, I do prefer the Zemus, that's all that's left of my Zemus when my uh, old 550 crashed crashed as you can see unfortunately uh, that's when that destroyed my GoPro uh, I've actually got quite a few ideas uh, for future videos again it's just getting around to doing it with work and the weather so uh, fingers crossed uh, I can get more footage out to you soon I do apologize and I hope to make it up to you with a lot more how-to videos. And just before I go, I want to give a big shout out to Aaron at RC Sparks, who's actually just had his first Christmas with his son. Uh, if you don't know RC Sparks, then you haven't been searching hard enough on YouTube. He's uh, the biggest RC enthusiast out there, fantastic guy, and uh, yeah, I really uh, enjoy your videos. So uh, congratulations to you on having your baby and i hope you had a really nice christmas so that's all for me now guys i really do hope you have a fantastic new year i've got a ton of stuff that i'm going to be bringing to you soon so uh, i hope you do stick around i'm sorry the videos have been a little bit slow this month but i'm sure i'm going to make up for it now take it easy and i'll be back soon